I'm Faith from the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center, and thanks for joining me for today's virtual story time. Now you may have seen that the theme for our distance learning offerings this week is Deserted Island. So this week is supposed to be the New Hampshire School Vacation Week for April. And of course, most of us are stuck at home, our museum staff, and we assume that most of you are staying indoors uh, for the purposes of social distancing, for everyone's safety. So we're not really having a whole lot in the way of exciting vacation adventures. However, we decided to focus our distance learning offerings this week around the idea of what if you did have a wild vacation adventure? What if you did find yourself on a deserted island? What would you do? How would you survive? How might you find your way home? So please check our offerings on starhop.com slash blog. This week for vacation week, we have had lessons and activities about creating a solar oven to make your own food or to heat your own food, about how to use solar power to clean your water, how to make your own compass to get your bearings, to find your way around, and how to use all five of your senses to experience and appreciate nature. So today's story will touch a little bit on the themes of navigation and wayfinding. And again, that's something that Mirka talked about in her post on how to make a DIY compass, is na the concept of navigation, right? And if you found yourself on an island and you really wanted to get home, navigation would, would be at the heart of that. So we're going to touch a little bit on the theme of navigation and wayfinding today, but instead of using a compass, we're going to use an asterism in the sky. Now an asterism is the name for a group of stars that's not quite as formal as a constellation. So it's a group of stars, it might look like something, but it's not formally a constellation. So we are going to read about I'd say one of the most famous asterisms today. Our story is The Big Dipper by Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Molly Cox. The Big Dipper. I like to go outside at night. Everything is still and dark. At night, I can see the stars. Some nights the stars are very bright. They look close too. It seems that I can almost touch them. I know I cannot. They are too far away. My father and I look at the stars. We look at them in summer and in winter. They are not always the same. In summer, these are some of the stars that I see. In winter, I see these stars. But there are some stars that I can see both in summer and in winter. I can see the Big Dipper almost every night if the sky is clear. Long ago, people drank water from dippers. The dipper in the sky looks like a water dipper. It has a bent handle and it has a bowl. There are three stars in the handle of the dipper. There are four stars in the bowl. I use a compass to help me find the dipper. A compass points to the north. I hold a compass in my hand. Then I look in the direction that the compass needle points. I can see the Big Dipper in, in, in summer and in winter. On summer nights, the Big Dipper looks like this. See the handles up and the bowls down here at the bottom. On winter nights, it looks like this. That's the opposite, the handles at the bottom and the bowl is up here on top. On fall nights, the dipper looks like this. It is low in the sky. Sometimes it is so low, you may be, only, you may be able to see only part of it. These are the names of the seven stars in the Big Dipper. The two stars at the end of the bowl 
are called the pointer stars. They point to Polaris, the North Star. Now I'm going to try and read the names of these stars, and these are difficult words for me, but I'm gonna give it a shot, okay? They're Alcade, Mizar, Alioth, Migras, Ficta, Duby, and Mirac. When you look at the Big Dipper in the night sky, imagine a dotted line going from one star at the end of the bowl to the other one. Imagine that the dotted line goes all the way to the North Star. So we're looking at these two stars here, Mirak and Duby. Those are the pointer stars. We draw an imaginary line from this star to that star and keep going until we hit Polaris. The North Star, <clears throat> let's see here. The North Star is a very important star. Sailors and other travelers use it to help them find their way. When they sail toward it, they are going north. If they sail away from it, they are going south. To go west, sailors keep the North Star to the right of them. To go east, they keep the North Star to the left. There is also a Little Dipper. The North Star is the first star in the handle of the Little Dipper. The Little Dipper has seven stars too. Whenever I see the Big Dipper, I can find the Little Dipper. So again, here's the Big Dipper. We draw that imaginary line from one pointer star to the second pointer star all the way to Polaris, the North Star. And here we are at the handle, the end of the handle of the Little Dipper. And that has that same shape of a handle in a bowl. Just like this one is a bowl in a handle. When the sky is clear and dark, go outside and look for the dippers. Look to the north. There you will see the Big Dipper, the North Star, and the Little Dipper. Long ago, people imagined that the Big Dipper was part of a big bear. They called it Ursa Major. Ursa means bear and major means big. They imagined that the handle of the Dipper was the tail of the bear. Three pairs of stars were the paws of the bear and a bright star was his nose. So that's the bear here with the tail, the paws, and the nose of the bear. Sometimes I think I can see the tail of the bear. I make believe that I can see its head, the nose, and the four feet. See that picture? They drew some lines. So you can really see where the tail of the bear is, all of the paws, and the bright nose there at the end. People of long ago thought that the Little Dipper was part of a little bear. Since minor means little, they called it Ursa Minor, little bear. I try hard to imagine that I can see the little bear, but I cannot. Maybe you can. So again, here's Ursa Major, the big bear. And here's Ursa Minor, upside down, has a long tail and the body is the bowl part of the dipper there. That's Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. <clears throat> Some night when it is still and dark, take a friend outside. Show him or her how to find the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, and the North Star. See if he or she can imagine that they see the big bear. Maybe they'll even be able to see the little bear. And that's the end of our story today. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying all of our offerings for April School Vacation Week. And remember that we have more stories and activities coming up for you daily, Monday through Friday, at starhop.com blog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.